Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pendant out of old guitar strings. Now, I have a video where I have showed you how to make a bracelet, and it's kind of the same idea. Um, let me just show you a couple of ways that you can do this. This is one that does not have a bail, it's just a circle. And um, you can hang it, you know, on your chain or some type of, you know, wire or thread or whatever, leather like this. And this one here I actually just made yesterday and I have it on my Etsy shop. And uh, I'll give you a, a link to it. But see, you can just put it on like that. Now it kind of has a big bail, but the reason for that is because if you notice I have three beads on there I have this um, it's it's supposed to be a very light gray but it's almost a, a white so maybe it's a white gray I don't know but I flanked it the glass uh, pearl with some guitar bead tips and this is what actually holds the guitar string onto the guitar and they look like this let me see if I can show you better what they look like um, I've also made ornaments out of these things and everything is that I make so far most everything uh, it's kind of the same idea and what you need of course are pliers I have flat nose pliers and I have that the long nose pliers um, I may find that these are better than these or vice versa so I always have them out and then as far as wire cutters go the best type of wire cutters for guitar strings are the memory wire cutters because guitar strings are very very tough and if you use your your nice uh, jewelry wire cutters just the regular kind um, you will damage them and how I know that is because I did it so you don't want to damage your nice uh, wire cutters and of course, you are going to need um, a guitar string. The one I'm going to do today only is going to use one guitar string. Uh, these other ones, this one right here, has a whole set. There's six guitar strings in there, from the biggest down to the smallest. Now, I am not very musical. I do play the dulcimer, but you don't necessarily have to be that musical to play. Um, I don't read music or anything like that so I can't give you all the de details of um, what the strings are called I know there's different like the A string the G string whatever they may not be an A string but there are different strings like that and so the full set is here but this particular one I think is the second largest um, on the guitar and basically what you do is you are going to just like you're going to tie a shoe the first step and you tie it as tight as you want now it's only going to go so small but I think that's about the size I want maybe a little bigger okay and then what you're going to do is just wrap the string through the hoop continue all the way around until you are finished now as you notice this particular string has a bead tip on it you can leave it or not I'm actually going to take it off because I'm going to um, try to make a bail with this and then I have some other bead tips I want to use in fact, let me show you how I will cut it off. I'm going to try to cut it off at the bin, just right before the bin there. Make sure you hang on to it because it'll fly off if you don't. Save this so you can cut that little bead off. But continue to wrap until you are to this point. Now, as you see, you have two sides here. Um, I am going to use red wire to wrap this 
And my bead tips, I actually have two gold and a red bead tip. And so I thought red would be kind of fun to wrap this. Now, I am going to probably use a couple of feet because I am going to try to do a bale on this one. Uh, it's easier if you don't do a bale, but I'm going to try to show you how to do a bale. So like I said, get about two feet of wire. I cannot tell you what the gauge of this is, but it, it is a thicker gauge. I would guess it to be a 20 gauge. One thing with wire, the smaller the number, the bigger the wire. So an 18 gauge would be thicker than this, and a 22 gauge would be thinner. But like I said, I think this is about a 20 gauge. Okay, so what I do is I kind of get the wire that I'm going to wrap about in the middle of where I'm going to start. Doesn't have to be exact. And then I just start wrapping very tightly. And um, again, this is not an exact science. If you're one of these people that have to have everything perfect, this is not going to be perfect. And to be honest with you, I actually like things that are a little bit eclectic. Okay, so you keep wrapping. When you get to the point where you have your wire sticking out, this is where you're going to really need to be very tight and close together because you want to make sure that that is tucked in and so it's not scratching your skin or your clothing where you might, you know, put a hole or snag your clothing. Okay, so. I am done on that side. Now I'm going to concentrate more over here. And like I said, just keep wrapping, make sure it's tight. To be honest with you, um, I had to take one of these apart one time. Well, I didn't have to. I just didn't like the way it turned out. So I took it apart. It was not that easy to take apart. So these are not going to fall apart. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm to that area there where that piece is sticking out. I want to make sure it is there and not going to scratch. Okay, when you think you're done, just put your finger through there and rub it. If you feel something snagging you, then you may want to go loop a, another time. But I'm actually finished, but I need to get back over here. So, um, or what I could do is I could just wrap over here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I was going to come back around, but I'm, I'm going to continue on. And um, sometimes when you do these things, you may change your mind in the middle of your creating. Uh, one thing about uh, the one pendant that I just showed, this one. I mentioned it was on my Etsy shop. It's called Tapping Flamingo. Um, and I have some other stuff over there. I've got guitar string ornaments. And one of these days, I'll probably put some guitar string bracelets. But that's something that I'm going to have to teach you how to measure your hand in order to get the right size for you. And um, if it's not done right, it may not fit. So I'm trying to figure out. I don't, I don't want you to be unhappy with a, a piece of jewelry that I have created for you. Anyway, so I'm almost to the place where I want to be. Keep wrapping. And I think I've made it. Okay, so here we have this little pendant. Almost, but we need to make a bail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around and I'm going to do a messy wrap. I like the messy wraps for some reason and to be honest with you they're easier to do but I just think they look really cool and you know that they are actually handmade. Now this is sometimes where you're going to need your pliers. I just had thumb surgery not too long ago and my thumb is not exactly the strongest right now so sometimes I have to whip out my my pliers for assistance. 
Now, I think that's as far as I want to go on this. So I'm going to get my wire cutters and I'm going to clip that off. And I have a little piece sticking out. So you're going to make sure, you're going to want to make sure that that is not sticking out so it will poke somebody. So you just need to tuck it in. And I kind of feel in there and I don't, I don't feel any scratchy stuff. All right, so now we are going to put our bead tips on. I'm going to put a gold one first. Then I'm going to put the red one. And then I'm going to put a gold one. What do you think? My mom loves red. She'd probably like something like this. So for all you red lovers, now you need to make a hoop and do some more wire wrapping. This is when you need your round nose pliers. And I, I don't remember if I told you you needed them or not, but you do need them. And um, I like to have a big bale because, you know, I don't know who this is going to go to. They may put it on a piece of leather. They may put it on a piece of chain. Um, you know, they may put it on some type of a hemp um, rope or whatever. So you need to make sure it's going to be big enough for them. And the other thing is, okay, that is not the right way that the hoop needs to go. You need to make sure, unless you're going to put a jump ring on it, which I am not. So you need to make sure that it is that way, like that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop this around. Again, feel my thumb going, don't do that. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Until I am finished. And I think that looks pretty good. So I need to clip that off. Whoops. Sorry, that was probably very loud. Okay, and now I just want to tuck this in. And I'll finish tucking this in and making sure that it is the way it's supposed to be. But this is how you make a lot of guitar string um, jewelry. You can make them smaller and have earrings. Or if you like big earrings, you could wear these. You could have a pendant. You can make it bigger. You have to, um, you know, make sure it goes over your hand. You could do, um, when you're wrapping it with wire, you could put beads on it. There's endless number of things you can do with these. Just go to your local music store and ask if they can give you to um, the guitar strings. A lot of them just throw them away. So this is a great way to recycle. Anyway, I hope you do this. I also hope that you hop on over to my uh, Etsy shop and check out what other things I have there. And um, hope you all have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel and share. I like to share my talent with people. So share how to make guitar string jewelry. Anyway, this is Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.